the journey. Something most of you are quite familiar with. If you're new here, that's Harry and I'm Chris. But in today's case, Harry gives a talk to his old school, all about dedication. Us being us, we thought we'd show you a little bit from it and perhaps give you a better context to Harry's journey. Why am I here today? I'm here to talk to you guys about dedication. So right about now, you're probably thinking, what gives me the right to talk to you guys about dedication? So I'll begin with a bit of context. I'm a triathlete. I started doing triathlons when I was 15 years old. After a few years, this led me to do some international races in places such as Chicago, Geneva, and Lisbon. Um, and I'm delighted to say I was also asked to represent the GB under 19 team uh, captain the under-19 GB team to the Lisbon European Championships in 2016. Now, in recent years, what I've been doing is focusing more on half Ironman distance. Saying that, I didn't just jump straight up to that distance. I started off racing sprint distance, which is a 400 meter swim, 20 kilometer bike ride, and then a five kilometer run. After a few years of racing, realized I was better at slightly lower intensity, more considerable amount of time. So here I am, racing half Ironman distance. And that's a point that I really want to touch on, you guys, is that I found the distance that was right for me through trial and error. And you guys will need to do the same. You need to find the distance of the job or the occupation that's right for you. But you're not going to land the perfect job or the per perfect occupation right away. You need to do some trial and error. And remember that what's, what works well for someone may not work well for you. In the talk, we showed three videos, the journey, becoming a professional, and then running motivation. The talk itself went really well. Harry's theme was all about dedication, but he covered a lot of ground in between there, hopefully helping some of the sixth form kids as they move forward with their futures. With the last video finishing up, Harry wanted to leave us some three main points. I've been rambling on for a little bit. Um, but if there's anything you take from today, it's these three points, okay? So number one, celebrate the little things. Celebrate your little wins, no matter how small they are, celebrate them. Number two, always be positive towards yourself and towards others. Number three, find out what motivates you and set goals. Uh, that concludes my speech here. Are there any questions? Does the discipline of training, is that easy for you or is that really difficult? Like, do you have to like, force yourself to get out of bed? No, you go through stages of really enjoying training. If you're feeling fit, you enjoy it. If you're feeling crap, you don't enjoy it. And it's easy to train when you're feeling good. It's hard to train when you're feeling rubbish, and that's when it's most important. So, like this morning, I um, had to get up, up early for an early morning swim session. My alarm went off, and I was like, oh, I'm not feeling this. But it's something you've got to do. You've got to think, oh, if a thousand other people want the same thing I want, how am I going to better that? And it's going up and it's doing what you need to do. Cool, so um, we've just finished up with the general study speech. Um, ended up being sort of quite ideal time actually, like 45 minutes. Uh, I, I hope people enjoyed it. I really, I was so nervous, but um, <laughs> no, I, I hope people enjoyed it. And I think people would have enjoyed the videos. So yeah, uh, yeah it all went well. It's something a bit different and I did talk about pushing yourself, yourselves out of your comfort zone, and that's like that's what I was doing today, really. Just pretty much pushing myself out of my comfort zone. It's the first speech I've done in front of a group like that, so yeah, um, it was good fun. It was good. I don't know what else to say. No, I think that's pretty good. You guys, yeah. Yeah, I think we can leave it. Yeah. Cool. Alright, I'll leave it at that. Uh.